I was very taken by your inquiry with Stephanie. She, she writes a blog called stephanie.de and it was about mobile phone screen time. Yes, yes. This is the inquiry into desire. Yeah. Stephanie was one of my clients or students and she had this trouble that she just couldn't stop reaching out to her phone and so it's a very simple exercise then you just but it's not a desensitization you need to have an insight with it for it to stop Mm -hmm. you put your phone in front of you and you feel the urge to reach out for it and then you just sit with these sensations and watch out for what it makes you grab the phone Is there a force? Is there something pushing you? What is it? What unleashes the grabbing? And if if the self-illusion is seen through and you do this long enough, there will be a shift. I had a client sit in front of a fridge uh, of a pizza who was just addicted to pizzas. He said, I'm not hungry, but I have to put them in the oven. And he sat there. He, He saw through this step in like two days. And then the second day he sat there and, and he looked what was making him, you know, unwrap this pizza. And all of a sudden it was him. I just, he woke up out of a dream. Mm-hmm. He said, what am I doing? Why, why the hell am I sitting in front of a pizza? Put the pizza back into the freezer and this thing was gone. Now it came back. That happens often because this step is not managed in one blow like the self-illusion mm-hmm. but it can really produce a shift and then you know that this can disappear this the shift has happened it's so clear yeah and i think the that's with stephanie it went very deep like something about not wanting to be left alone when her mom left the room a hug it's like some sort of uh, wanting love or affection which the which we there's the reaching for the phone. I thought that was so interesting. Yeah, it's uh, in psychoanalysis, we would call that the constant object. Mm-hmm. So everybody of us needs to develop in childhood something that, or has something that is a constant object so that we can rely on something. As a child, we're lost. We're completely lost. Otherwise, mm-hmm. we really suffer panic all the time. And since her mother was so busy, like mine was as well, she developed... She has certainly, as a young child, had a different object like a doll, for example, or a teddy mm. or an animal, a stuffed animal. But many adults now have this as their object. And it's so sad. It's so mm. sad. Not yeah. that not a person is somebody you can rely on that is always there, but the phone. And I find that really sad. 